everyone and welcome to my laundry area. Today is all about Labada on Live Love Lols. I am your host, Tita K, and we are stream live ba tayo? We are streaming live from the NMF TV HQ in Makati, Philippines, aka my laundry area. But first, let's talk about bags. Bags muna tayo. Do we talk about bags first? Okay, sige pa on yung TV sa <laughs> <laughs> okay, be a designer for a day. Bespoke your Nika. Nika, Nika. 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 Bespoke your Nika is coming soon at Century Mall City. So if you guys want to design your own Nika bags, you can just go on over to Century City on November 20, ep, ep, 22 and 23. And we will be there to hang out with you. Hang out tayo, punta tayo, mga ano, buong ano, buong day nandun tayo. So, we can get to see Rika Peralejo, um, Patty Philart. And then when you bespoke your own Nika, you get free monograms. You get a free monogram service. You know what the monogram is, right? Those are your initials. So, may tatlong letters ka dyan na libre. And of course, ano will be there? Um, Carrots Navarro. Ang ganda niya, no? Ganda niya, Yaya. I love her. Carrots Navarro and ano, her dog, Car Carmela. Here also is um, Tindy Chow and Barry, who also bespoke their Nika. So come on over and we'll see you guys there. Ta-da! Okay, now let's just talk about laundry. Laundry, 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 living. Do you live alone? Do you live with your parents? If you live with your parents, then good for you. You don't have to watch this episode. But you can make your mom or your yaya or whoever is in charge of the laundry watch this episode. It is very important. Alam mo, watch it na rin. Baka may matutunan pa kayo. Okay, so before you do the laundry, we all know that you love to shop, right? You have labels. Di ba pag ano, may bago kang binili na... Ano ba to? Para ang item. Ito na lang, di ba? When you buy a new something, somewhere inside the the garment in the kili kili area, you have tags and tags galore. That is where you will find the instructions, the washing instructions, the care instructions. Grabe. Minsan ang dami, di ba? Parang ano na? Parang kasi kapal ng Bible yung ano yung washing instructions that you have to cut. So let's talk about some of the instructions for a bit. You'll see this. This is, this symbolizes your laundry, a.k.a. your palangana or your washing machine. See that symbol? That is the washing symbol with the temperature. 95, ano ba yung Fahrenheit? Fahrenheit ba yan? Ano yung Fahrenheit? Fahrenheit ba tayo sa Philippines? Celsius. 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 We are Celsius. <laughs> okay, anyway, basta whatever the temperature... You wash your clothes, that garment, in that temperature. Okay? So you're gonna have other samples. Ito, 60 ba tayo? Ano ba yung bilog? Degree? Degree yan. <laughs> yan yung temperature. Okay? Ah! Tita K! Bakit may underline? Anong ibig sabihin ng underline? Ang underline na yan ay, that means reduced cycle. Okay? So you don't wash on the strongest, most powerful cycle. This is the reduced cycle. Get it? Get it? Okay, so review. Let's say the temperature is 40. Kung walang underline, yun yung regular bonggang cycle na parang bagyo. Okay? The 40 with the underline is the reduced cycle, not as strong. Okay? What is an example for um, mga pang-reduced cycles? Yung mga v-neck. <laughs> diba? Yung mga like t-shirts, your collared shirts. Yan yung pang-reduced cycle. Full, the, the, the one without the underline, the full powerful cycle, that can be used for jeans, for um, comforters, kung malaki yung washing machine ninyo. Yung mga ganun level. Okay? And now you're like, Tita K! Bakit dalawa na yung line sa ilalim? Okay, so this symbol means be careful. That means use the gentle cycle. When do you use the gentle cycles? On your, on your delicates, on your mga, di ba? Yung mga, yung mga sensitive na ano, damit, your, your fancy lingerie, ganon, yung mga ganun level. Okay? 
your expensive shirts that are ano that are if you're tamad to hand wash you put it on gentle cycle <gasps> don't don't okay don't say i said that tita k ano yan but may kamay okay i'll give you one guess what's that symbol for that means hand wash yun yung kamay na pinapasok sa palanggana okay hand wash yan Wag na wag nyo siyang ipapasok sa washing machine. Okay? So, you use your hands for that. Tita K, paano magkusot? Di ako sure. Okay, let's make kusot. How do you make kusot? Tama ba? Ganyan? Is this the motion for kusoting? So, first you wet thy fabric. And then you look if it's wet enough. And then you rub it. Ever so gently. But not ano ha? Kaya nga ano, hand wash, you have to rub it gently lang. Ganyan-ganyan level lang. Diba? With piga, with matching piga. Yes. Diba you hear that? Diba yung mga yaya natin? Yung mga ganun yung mga quick sound effects. Pero these are like for, kunyari, your delicate blouses, your, you know, fancy underwear levels. In fact, you know, if it's super lazy and super fancy, baka gaganyan-ganyan yun na lang sa, ano, sa palanggana yan, di ba? Parang iikot-ikot nyo na lang so that you don't make it kusot. Okay? So don't forget that very important symbol. Hand wash only. Do not stick it in the washing machine. And that's very important to communicate to your labandera or yaya or moms. Okay? What is this symbol? Do not wash. Kaya nga may X, di ba? Do not wash. So if you see that, do not wash, ano gagawin mo dyan pag do not wash? We will get to that later. Okay, so there you go. Those are your washing labels. Let's move on to, ano to? Hindi ko makita. Ano ba yan? Soil, soiling. Soiling levelings of how much detergent should you use depending on how soiled your garment is. Kunyari, madudungis yung mga tao sa bahay, di ba? Doon ka sa 120 ml of detergent for your soiled, ano, for your soiled garments. If you're parang normal, ano lang, normal mga mancha-mancha lang, you can use only 60 ml of detergent in your 2 to 3 kilo load. Is that right? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Yeah, you're so proud of me. I know this stuff because you have to know it. Diba when you keep on changing the bandera, ito na yung ipakita nyo video. Okay? Naintindihan? Okay. Moving on. Drying. Do you guys have dryers? Okay. So if you do, wow, it's the greatest thing, right? But do you make your yayas use the dryers? I'm kind of scared. Parang that sentence scares me. So it's just me and my mom that uses the dryer. Anyway, just... For the sake of teaching others how to use the dryer and how to understand labels, let us go and look at some of the symbols. Tita K, ano yan? Botones? Ano siya? Ibig sabihin yan, flat dry. You lay the garment on a flat surface to dry. Okay? Tita K, ano yan? Envelope, sulat, magsusulat tayo sa isa't isa. That means hang dry. Isasampay mo yung mga labada nyo. Okay? Tita K, ano yan? Grill? Magbabarbecue ba tayo? Oo, magbabarbecue tayo. This means drip dry. When you make it sampay, it's gonna drip. So usually this is done away from sunlight. You don't... Sunlight apparently. Okay, I did not know this. I just found out now. Sunlight is bad for your clothes. The UV rays, ito naman yung mga UV rays na yan, will ruin the fabric, the color of your garments. Okay? Okay, yeah. Not unless ligay mo siya ng ubaji. But anyway, flat dry. How do you flat? Tita Kay, ano ba yung flat dry na yan? Ito para sa hair. So, hindi yan ang pag-uusapan natin. Flat dry is when you lay your garment on a flat surface to dry. You know how like some clothes, when you hang them, parang ahaba na. Di ba kunyara may v-neck ka, tapos yung v, parang pa-v ng pa-v yung v-neck. 
yun yung hindi yun yung hinahang dry you have to lay it flat to dry usually you can get something like this in the mga yung, yung mga Japanese what you call it mga 88 peso stores mukha siyang car shade hey you know what maybe you can use your car shade and then that's where you lay your your clothing out to dry Pwede rin sa bubong ng bahay, di ba? So, you can tell your yaya to go up on your roof and then lay your clothes out on the yero. Okay? Hang dry. What is hang dry? This is the very common, This everybody knows how to hang dry. This is the sampai. We call that sampai. Di ba? Magsampai ka. Usually naman lahat hang dry. So, yeah, hang dry. Drip dry. Okay? I was under the impression that you could just like, you know, like you put your soaking wet garments on a clothesline and even drip it out on the garden. No, do not do that because the UV rays, nga, the, the sunlight, kala ko pa naman good si sunlight. Bad siya, bad. Bad sa garments. It will ruin your the fabric of your garments and clothing, etc. So this is a better way of using the drip dry technique over a bathtub. Pag wala kayong bathtub, ano na lang, siguro lagyan nyo ng payong, di ba, sa sampayan, payungan nyo na lang ha, hanggang matuyo siya. Okay. Tell Yaya to do that for ya. Now, let us go to, oh, the dryer. Again, the dryer is, a, is one of the best inventions of mankind. But what are the symbols? This is very dangerous. Di ba, mamaya, babalik yung damit nyo sa inyo, iba-iba na yung size. What is the symbol of this? Is this a button? As in, pipindutin natin yan. On, ganon. No. That means, tumble dry with no restrictions. As in, you can go nuts. Sunugin nyo yan. Pwede ka pa maglagay ng pagkain sa loob para paglabas, luto na siya. Of course, I'm kidding, right? This one with a dot means, ano yan? Button. Tumble dry, low setting. It has to be on a low setting. Tita Kay, ano yan? Ilong ng pig? It's so cute naman. Yes, it is very cute. But that means tumble dry on high setting. So the first one, yung walang dot, yun yung kahit anong setting pwede. Okay? Okay? Okay, so when you do laundry, you always, you have to make sure that your lavandera is not colorblind. Why? Why is this? You cannot mix your Kunyari, maglalaba ka ng white shirt, di ba? Tapos lalagay mo yung red shirt mo, tsaka yung black shirt mo. What's gonna happen? It's chaos. It's gonna... The colors could mix. So what you do is you always separate your colors, right? So if you're gonna use palanggana, you can put your whites here. You can put your darks here. Darks meaning like black, navy blue, Pwede ba yun ipagsama yung mga ganun level? And your colors here, like red. Red is usually a, uh, what you call it? A color with attitude. It usually bleeds into your other colors. So you never want to mix your reds. Kunyari, mga pula, di ba? Mga pula, mga pink, and your whites. You never want to do that. So also, what you can do is, you know, I wish I took a photo. I have these hampers at home, okay? One is for, ano ba to? Basta may sticker pa yan. One is for darks, one is for whites, and one is for colored. Okay, I have these hampers at home. And I live with three boys. Do you know where they put the clothes? Here, in front of the hamper. Ayaw nila ilagay sa loob ng hamper. Okay? So I threatened them. I'm gonna Instagram that and I'm gonna tag all of you. So anyway, I don't have a photo. But eh, that's a good thing. That's a good, ano, that's a... Good way of keeping your clothes also organized before washing. So what you do when it's washing day, you just bring down a hamper. And then if it's all white, then you can wash your whites for the day. Okay, so going back to color blindness. Hey, Yaya, let's take a quiz. Okay, ma'am, let's do it. Okay. What do you see? Do you see a square, a circle, a diamond, or you are not sure? Uh, I see a circle, ma'am. Very good. How about this? What do you see? Uh, that's a diamond, ma'am. Very good. My yaya is brilliant. What about now? What do you see? Lots of gray circles, ma'am. Yes. Is that nothing, ma'am? I'm unsure also. I think it's nothing. Okay, nothing. Like Jon Snow levels of nothing. 
What do you see? Uh, it's a circle, ma'am. See? So if your yaya has the same answers as my yaya, then that means your yaya can do the laundry. She is not colorblind. Colorblind people should learn how to cook. Okay? Bleaching. I don't even want to talk about this, okay? Can we not talk about this? I'm so mad at bleach. I really am. You know I have bleach and it's in my bathroom. I have to lock it up because every time I leave it downstairs, it disappears. I don't know where it goes. So yeah, I don't want to talk about bleach. But anyway, this sign with CL means chlorine bleach allowed in cold and diluted solution. Not in my house, that's not allowed. So in my house, this is the sign. Do not use chlorine bleach ever. These are ironing. Uh, these are ironing care icons. So we'll talk about that another time because ironing is a different monster in itself. But it's so much fun to talk about ironing. Okay, here, just for the sake of ironing, iron at maximum temp of 110. Then the second one with two dots, maximum temp of 150 degrees Fahrenheit, three dots, maximum temp of 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and obviously this one means do not iron, don't you dare, dry cleaning. Okay, let's talk about emergency, so these are the labels for dry cleaning. P means, wag mo pakialaman yan, okay? Remember that, P means professional, and then when you go to the professionals, alam na nila yung mga sign na yan. Okay? So we don't have to talk about that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's do a quick dry, not the dry cleaning. Let's do a quick, how do you say it? Emergency tip. Emergency trick for, let's say, kunyari si Sir. Diba? He has, a, he has an event to go to. And then you bring out his coat. And then there's a stain. And he has to wear it na now. And you can't go, possibly go to the dry cleaners and then come back in 30 minutes. And you can't dry clean yourself, diba? You might damage it even more. So what do you do? This is fun. Kumuha ka spray bottle. Okay? And then you get your perwall. It has to be black. Don't get the white. Hello? Okay? It's, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna try to clean a black garment. So you put one part per wall and ten parts water. Okay? Damihan mo yung water. Just shake, shake, shake. Okay, maglinis tayo dito. So, kunyari, di ba, alis na si Sir, ah, sana yung ano, yung, ano ba tawag dito, Americana, Americana ko, where's my coat? Yan, English daw, English si Sir, yeah, yeah, where's my coat? I need it now. You say, Sir, kasi bumili kayo ng maraming coat, hindi iisa lang yung coat din nyo. Sus Mario, Sir. Okay, so let's say the stain is right here. You get your, your, your concoction. Remember, it's like one part detergent lang and then ten parts water. You spray on the fabric, ever so lightly. Ah! And then you get, wag trapo ha, wag kayo kukuha ng trapo yung pangkotse, wag yon. You get a cloth, a clean cloth, and then you wipe it, and then you can wipe the stain off. So, when you present it to sir, sir, eto na po, diba? So, no trouble, and he is off to his event. So, that's a neat tip that you all should know, okay? And it also works for other, how do you say it, delicate fabrics, di ba? Para may, may dumi dyan. And then you're on your way out na, anong gagawin mo, di ba? Ganyan, ganyan mo na lang, di ba? Chuk-chakin mo na lang yan ng ano, ng for now. Per wall, per wall black, the There. Swipe, wipe ka dyan. And you are all clean. Okay, let's talk about fabric, softener, and detergent. Here is a photo of Perwal Brilliant White. This is a detergent, and Vernell is a fabric softener. How do you use this? Do you put it together in your bacha? Do you put it together in your washing machine? Yeah, yeah hello, why not, diba? It will save us so much time. Okay, so in the shower, do you put your shampoo and conditioner in your hand and apply it at the same time. You see, shampoo is like your detergent. The purpose, the, the main function of this is to clean, right? On the other hand, your fabric conditioner is like your hair conditioner. It's there to soften. 
So ano magkiklean at saka magsasoften? They may contra each other. It doesn't work like that. You have to apply this separately. Okay? So, do not put them in sabay. Okay? So again, going back to your detergent and your fabric conditioner, you put it in hiwalay. Okay? Huwag sabay. Huwag kayo tamad. Huwag ganyan ng mga labandera. Bawal yan. Okay, also another trick would be, a nice trick would be to get your, sino ba yung, ito, 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 gusto ko, oh, bigat naman ito. Okay, you get a little of your vernel and then you put it in a spray bottle. Yet again, ang dami spray bottle. Ano ba? Ito ba? Ito yata yun. Is it one part, ano? Pwede siyang weights. Parang kettlebell. Alam mo yung kettlebell? Yung pagganong-ganon, di ba? Anyway, Pabigat siya. So again, it's one part. Okay. Si Yaya. May sakit daw si Yaya. Yung guest Yaya natin. Get well soon. So, <laughs> so, so for this um, concoction naman, this is a fabric conditioner and water concoction. It's gonna be like, how do you say it? A refresher, a fabric refresher. Kunyari, mga alaga mo, di ba? Amoy araw, sis Maria Joseph, amoy araw na naman yung mga to. You just spray them, not naman them, their clothes, with this concoction. One part vernel and six to eight parts water, okay? Or even ten parts, depende. You can spray it on your bed, di ba? To have fresh cleaning sheets all the time. The best time to spray your bed with this concoction is not before you sleep, because you cannot sleep. You will be thinking of the laundry all day. You spray it in the morning when you're done now, when you're, when you're getting out of bed. This will ensure your sheets smelling fresh all day, all the time. Love it. So, pwede rin siya, kunyari, aalis ka, di ba? Wala kang pabango. You can use that as well. So, you just have your handy-dandy spray bottle. Okay, something that nobody wants to talk about but is a reality in everyone's homes. We all have, yeah, we all have, hindi ako kasama dyan, ha? Some people, <laughs> and I'm not mentioning names. No, this is a common problem. The deodorant stains on your polos, on your white shirts. It happens, people. What do you do? Okay, how, how can we do this? Ito si Perwall Brilliant White. With siguro mga how many washes? Six to eight washes. Three to four? Three to four? Nagsis six to eight? Three to four lang. In three to four washes. Mamumuti yan. Okay? So don't worry. You don't have to make them trapo yet. Okay? So you give them a chance. You can resurrect your, your stained shirts, your deodorant stained shirts with per wall brilliant white. Now, let's talk about bacon. Bacon briefs. How do you fix... <laughs> How do you remedy bacon briefs? Nagagamot ba ng ano yan? Ng perwal, ng vernel? Paano na, tita Kay? Paano na? Ang daming bacon brief ng asawa ko. Hindi. Ang mga bacon brief ay kailangan ng gawin trapo. Okay? Don't naman make your husband or your children wear bacon briefs. It's time to let go and move on. Okay, next. <laughs> May time pa ba? Or giveaway na? Okay, now it's time for... Because this stuff really works. I am in awe with Perwall Brilliant White. Um, sino yung... Naiwan ko yata yung ano ko dito, yung, yung top ko. <laughs> okay, we did a Perwall White challenge and... This stuff really works. I wore um, a frilly top one time and we had a parang family photo, picture taking, diba? With my in-laws, family. And ako pa yung nag-suggest na everyone comes in white, right? So we get to the venue that day and my father-in-law goes to me, Oh, akala ko sabi mo mag-white kasi yung shirt ko was kind of, you know, yellowing already. So, we did a per wall white challenge a few episodes ago, and it really works. And I want you to experience this whiteness, this crazy whiteness as well. So, here we go with the tambiolo. This Tita Kay giveaway is brought to you by Per Wall Brilliant White. Pwede kaya itong gawin toothpaste. Diba? Para kunyari sa mga hili mag-coffee or mga smokers dyan. Try natin. 
Gagal. Gagal it. No, stop it. Stop it. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Let's pick some five winners now, shall we? Oh, look at that. Winner number one. Is Istin Dizon Palgna? Palgna. Palgna. Yaya, yeah, yeah. ilabas ang per wall dahil maglalaba tayo ng precious jacket ko dahil malamig na. Jacke. It's jacke season, ha? Don't you love it? Jacket season, no? Dami yung jacket dito. Per per wall din ko yan, mamaya. Para hindi na kailangan labhan. Winner number two is Thea Palanca. Congratulations! Yaya, ilabas ang per wall dahil maglalaba tayo ng precious branded clothes. Dahil maglala mierda ko bukas na. Ha? Huh? Maglalaba ko today? Tapos, lala pwede, pwede naman eh. Or if you don't wanna make laba, di ba? If your shirt is white, you can do this spray formula. You do the, ano, 10 parts water and then one part per wall brilliant white. Tapos chuk-chakin mo na lang. Bagong laba. Love it. Winner number five is Ray Alcalde. Yaya, ilabas ang per wall dahil maglalaba tayo ng kumot para magamit ngayong gabi na. Siguraduhin white ang kumot, right? Kumot? Pwede. Pwede naman yun sa kumot eh. Winner number four is Andrea Costales. Yaya, ilabas ang per wall dahil maglalaba tayo ng precious bag ko dahil it's gala time na. Alam mo, pwede bag. Pwede talaga bag. You know, I have a bag. Can I have time? Do I have time? Yeah. No, I washed a leather bag. I was so upset with it because your number one kalaban is Amag, right? So, yeah. Anyway, that's another, we can talk about that in the leather episode. Anyway, pinasok ko siya sa washing machine. Super amoy amok talaga. Pinasok ko siya, ikot-ikot. And then I took a photo, but it was in my phone that, ano, got lost. Winner number five is, uh, congratulations, guys, Geraldine Tolentino. Yaya, ilabas ang per wall dahil maglalaba tayo ng precious baru-baruan. What's a baru-baruan? Yaya? Yes, ma'am. What's a baru-baruan? Uh, I don't know, ma'am. <laughs> You know what baru baru is? Nobody knows what a baru baru is. That can be the next TTK giveaway question. Precious baru baru an dahil si ate ay mga anak na. Ah, ano yon? Parang ano? An ano yung pang hospital ganon? Yes, I am inventing. Thank you very much. <laughs> also, I want to say um, to the two winners of the Basti Artadi CDs. Please contact me so I can send you your CDs ASAP. May ano, may message ba? May, may additional, may gusto kang i-greet? <laughs> so everyone, don't forget to follow Perwall on Facebook at Perwall PH. Okay, and also don't forget to follow me. Look for me everywhere. I am Karotitai and follow Live Love Lols on Facebook. Okay, so I hope you guys learned how a thing or two on laundry because laundry really is part of our lives, daily lives. Or mga weekly naman, kung marami kang ano. Hindi, daily, para everyday may labada eh. So I hope you guys learned something on this episode and I will see you guys next week. Thank you for hanging out with me in my laundry area. Bye-bye. The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised.